Hi folks, welcome to Coffee and Revelation on Wednesday. Hope you're having a good week. Um, you know, I don't just read the Bible, I've just been reading this. Uh, an amazing book actually, uh, Confucius Analix. There's a great deal of wisdom and a great deal of, of truth in here. And also uh, a lot I would just say, mm, no, no, do you know, I think the difference between this and this is that here you do get a lot of wisdom and good things, but ultimately it doesn't change us, doesn't change our hearts, doesn't give us life. The Bible has a lot of wisdom. So the wisdom books, for example, we're just reading through the book of Proverbs and has a lot more variety, but what the Bible does, it gives us Christ. Um, we are anyway looking at Revelation chapter 17, and again, I welcome you if you're not uh, a believer this, to this most amazing book, and you'll learn here, even today, a great deal about our culture. So we're gonna read chapter 17, verses one to six. One of the seven angels who had the seven balls came and said to me, come, I will show you the punishment of the great prostitute who sits by many waters. With her the kings of the earth committed adultery, and the inhabitants of the earth were intoxicated with the wine of her adulteries. <clears throat> then the angel carried me away in the spirit into a desert. There I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that was covered with blasphemous names and had seven heads and ten horns. The woman was dressed in purple and scarlet and was glittering with gold, precious stones and pearls. She held a golden cup in her hand filled with abominable things and the filth of her adulteries. The name written on her forehead was a mystery. Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes and of the abominations of the earth. I saw that the woman was drunk with the blood of God's holy people, the blood of those who bore testimony to Jesus. When I saw her, I was greatly astonished. Now, there's so much in there. Uh, let me say, first of all, this is not a diatribe against prostitutes. In our culture, we're apparently supposed to call prostitutes sex workers. No, they're not workers. They are women generally and some men who are being exploited for the purposes of lust, greed, power. And that's what is being said here. This great prostitute, the, the person who sells her body, except this isn't a person, this is a system. This is the city of Babylon, but it is also the city of Rome because John was in prison. Christians were being persecuted. He was the last of the apostles and it was the Roman Empire that was doing this. And what John, it, it's really quite incredible what he says that, uh, you know, she's wealthy, she's powerful, Rome that is, but filthy, intoxicated, drunk, ugly, what are these, the kings of the earth committed adultery and the habits of the earth were intoxicated with the wine of our adulteries? What are these uh, adulteries, if you like, and this intoxication? Money, power, sex. Again, things, what is it? The more things change, the more things stay the same. And this woman, this city, this empire was drunk with the blood of God's holy people, the blood of those who bore testimony to Jesus. Do you know, our world systems, I saw that the Australian Christian League here in, here in Australia, of course, had a meeting in Sydney, and I believe they've got one in Canberra and Melbourne, sold out, uh, entitled Babylon. And I think it's a pretty, very clever title because it's showing that things haven't changed. The cultures of our world, the, 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 the governmental systems of power. Government's a good thing come from God, I, I would argue. That's what scripture says. But when it's corrupted and perverted, then it becomes something horrific and ugly, drunk. It's a bit like, to me, saying sex, male, female, it's a good thing, a beautiful thing given from God. But when it's perverted, it's ugly and horrific and destructive. 
Well, John describes that. He describes what he calls the punishment of the great prostitute. And uh, we'll go on to see more of what that is. But isn't it amazing how the Bible, I read Revelation and to me it's like a commentary on contemporary life. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Please do join us then. Uh, Remember if you're watching this that uh, we've now put the link to it on the Ask website, www.ask.org.au. But see you then. Bye.